Alright, we've already done chicken broth and we've done a basic chicken stock and now I'm going to show you how to go up another step on the ladder. This is stock eh, 201, alright? We've done 101 and we've done 102 and that was the first basic chicken stock and then the next step up with a chicken broth recipe. This, however, is going to take it to absolutely to die for and it is so easy. That's Boot and Shoe. That's my puppy. We're going to ignore him. Alright, so this is all you do. You take the basic chicken broth that we did in a previous video. And if you haven't seen it, go back and check it out because it's so easy. It's amazing. So here we go. We've got our five quart stock pot full of our chicken broth that, that we simmered off, we strained out, and now we're ready for the next step. We're going to double it. And that just means you double the flavor. We're going to concentrate the flavor. We're going to concentrate the intensity. And that means we're going to concentrate what we can do with it later. So, got the same exact ingredients. I have about three and a half, four pounds of chicken thighs. And it's because I cannot stand to waste ingredients. So we're not doing it the classic French technique. We're doing it my way. So we maximize all of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to add this to the pot. We're going to simmer it for an hour, pull the meat from the bones, put the bones back in, and leave everybody else in there. Okay? You with me? So, here we go. We've got two onions, and you can use anything. Spanish onions, yellow onions, white onions. Don't use um, Walla Wallas or Vidalias. Those are too sweet. You want a lot of good, strong flavor. We have several carrots, eh, two or three. These were actually short carrots, so they're like five carrots. But they're little tiny ones. A big fat handful of thyme, two or three stalks of celery, and if you're using celery, oh, don't throw this part away. The little leafy part from the middle, that stuff is amazing. You get fabulous flavor in there. All right. Now, in the last video, I talked about using only the parsley stems. I don't have just parsley stems anymore. I'm down to the regular parsley. It doesn't matter. You're using the same amount. So whether you go ultra budget and use your scraps and end pieces or you use only the prime pieces, it doesn't matter. It all works the same way. All right? So chicken goes in the pot. And all I'm doing at this point is I'm going to bring it back up to a simmer. Now, go back and watch the other video. I talked about what a simmer was, and I showed it. You really want almost no movement on the top of the pot. There's a very important reason why. Not only will it cloud your broth, as that broth boils, if you let it boil, which I'm telling you not to do, if you let it boil, it comes through all of the ingredients and it will emulsify. The liquid, the water, and the chicken broth will emulsify with the oil from the chicken skin. And you'll create something that's kind of related to mayonnaise, which means later you'll never be able to get it clear and you'll have a cloudy flavor. Okay? So, at this point, this is all we're doing. We're going to bring this up to a simmer. We're going to let it simmer for an hour. We're going to pick our chicken and throw everything back in the pot. Just like we did at the first step. Except this time, we've got twice the intensity. Now, one other thing I want to mention really, really quick. If you've seen any of my videos, you know that across the board, I say simmer or to season and to taste it across the board. You want it to taste good at every step. This is going to be your exception. Okay? I have not added salt. And the reason is we're concentrating flavors. At every given stage, we're making everything more intense. And it's really difficult at this point to determine how salty or seasoned something is going to be by the time we get to the final stage. And there's two final stages here. Okay? We can use this double chicken broth as we're going to have it at the end. Or, we can go even one step further from here. So, I added maybe a teaspoon or two of salt. Just to help everybody kind of get happy in that pot with the carrots and the onions and the parsley and the thyme and the chicken above all. But that's all I'm doing at this point. Okay? So, no salt. Not now. Not here. Not allowed. Okay. We're going to wait. I'm going to let it simmer. And I'll be back. Alright, one of the reasons why I love doing chicken broth this way is what happened last night. 
I had taken the meat off the bones and thrown everything back in there and had let it simmer for a while longer and I got company. So I didn't come back last night to show you how to finish this off. I threw the whole pot in the cooler just like it is. And actually, I'm kind of glad I did because I can show you what happens. I do it this way a lot. You see this? All this fat that kind of congeals at the top, it gets easier to scrape off. And that's actually almost our final step here. I'm going to take all this fat off. I'm going to run it through a colander and then again through a layer of cloth and a strainer. And then I'm going to show you how to take it from almost completely clear to absolutely crystal clear and luscious. Okay? So we're getting rid of all this fat that me getting company brought to the top for me. We're going to get rid of all those solids. And I'll come back to show you one of the cool tricky things that makes it look like you went to culinary school. Even though all you got is me. <laughs> Alright, we did the whole straight and off thing. We have an almost final product with our double chicken broth. Now, the last thing you want to do, and I know this looks really odd. You know, I would read about this when I was a lot younger and didn't understand why it worked. And so I'd throw it in there for five minutes and it didn't work. So I quit doing it for years. But I reread James Beard, and he explained that the proteins that we're going to use with the egg whites and the eggshells will stick to the little particles in here, gather them all up. So that the final time you strain it out, everybody will stick, and it will end up crystal clear. So all the um, solids have been removed. I strained it off one time, threw it back in the pot. A couple of egg whites and the eggshells, and this is just going to sit here for about another hour. It will slowly filter itself so that the last time you run it through the strainer with a little bit of cloth on the bottom, this is what you get, and this is your final product. Now, if you watched the other video, you saw the dime. Same clean dime. Look what we end up with. This is absolutely delicious, intensely flavored double chicken stock. And you know the difference between technically stock and broth is simply that stock is made with bones and broth is made with meat, but it's pretty much used interchangeably. So can you see? You see how we read our dime? Now, the number one difference, of course, is concentration. And if you don't want to have much storage, go ahead and, and double up your chicken broth. Okay, can we see? Are you in there? Can you see? You can read it. There we go. I make this stuff by the buckets and absolutely adore it. And it's ready to use right now. Matter of fact, before you clarify it, if you're going to use it in something really hearty or something kind of creamy and you like the way it tastes, don't worry about that final step. Okay, we're good to go. That's regular chicken broth in the last video and double chicken broth in this one. Try them. I mean, they're really hands-off, super easy, and a great way to make yourself look fabulous. All right, and the next one. I'm going to come back and show you how to take this to its ultimate perfection. And we're going to make chicken consomme. But for now, we're done. All done.